Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix any Apex Legends issues with lagging, high ping spikes or packet loss. For the best results, I'd recommend you follow all of these steps and the first thing we are going to do is head to the start menu and you need to search for CMD. Then right click on command prompt and make sure to run as administrator. And inside of here we need to type in the following commands and I'm going to leave these in the video description so you guys can just copy and paste them. And the first thing you need to type inside of here is ipconfig space slash release and then hit enter. Then type in ipconfig space slash flush dns and hit enter. Then you need to type in ipconfig space slash renew and hit enter. Then type in net sh space int space ip space reset and hit enter. And lastly, you need to type in net sh winsock space reset and hit enter. You can then close out of the command prompt window and you'll need to restart your computer in order for these changes to take place. And once your computer's restarted, we're then going to head to the start menu and search for settings. Then tap on the settings icon and from the left here, come inside of the system tab inside of display. And then we need to scroll all the way down to the graphics section. Click on change default graphic settings and make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on. Then press the back button and we're going to add Apex Legends to our list of applications down here. To do that, come over to browse and we need to locate Apex Legends. If you're not sure where that's located, come into the C drive inside of program files x86. Scroll all the way down and come inside of the Steam folder, inside of Steam apps, inside of common, come inside of the Apex Legends folder. And if you scroll down here, you'll see an application called R5 Apex. Double click on that. As you can see, I already have mine in this list. And once you've got Apex Legends in here, we just need to click on it, come into options and make sure high performance is selected and press save. Then whilst we're in the settings window, come down to privacy and security, scroll all the way down to notifications and click that. Make sure notification access is disabled and also let apps access your notifications is disabled. You can then come into the network and internet tab, scroll all the way down to advanced network settings. And we're going to come down and select network reset and then go ahead and press reset now. We can then head out of the settings window and the next thing we're going to do is change our firewall settings by coming to the start menu and searching for Windows Defender. Then tap on Windows Defender Firewall and inside of here you need to select allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings and check to see if you have Apex Legends within this list. I've already got mine listed down here. Just make sure both private and public are checked. If you don't have Apex Legends in this list, say for instance if I just remove this for a second, then what you'll need to do is come to allow another app, select browse and once again we'll need to find Apex Legends in the C drive, program files x86, come down to Steam, inside of Steam Steam apps, common, Apex Legends, and then just select the R5 Apex. And once again, make sure both private and public are checked and we can press okay to save those changes. Now, next thing you need to do is launch the Steam application. And once you're inside of Steam, come over to library and we need to right click on Apex Legends inside of properties. And down at the bottom here, you'll see something called launch options. I'm going to come over to my notepad and I've got this code ready to copy. We can then come back over to Steam and I'm going to paste this inside of here. I will also leave this in the video description for you guys to copy and paste. But this command is basically just going to improve some of the performance when you're playing Apex Legends. If this doesn't work for you, you can always come back inside of here and remove this command. But for now, we're going to close out of here and then we're going to actually launch Apex Legends. And once you've launched up Apex Legends, you need to come to the settings menu by pressing escape key on your keyboard. Come over to settings and inside of the gameplay tab, we need to scroll all the way down here and I like to turn on performance display and by enabling this we're going to be able to see some important game performance including frames per second, latency and packet loss. You can then head out of the settings menu to save these changes and that's it guys hopefully by following all of these steps that's helped improve the performance of your game. If this video did help you then please drop a like and subscribe until next time.